Well, Happy New Year, folks. It's E. Chip and Robber. Hello. In the kitchen. I hope your holidays were great, and uh, ours were great, and uh, now, so we're beginning the new year, got a whole bunch of projects lined up, but uh, one thing we're going to do today is we're going to test the sun oven out again. Our last video on the sun oven, you know, we boiled eggs, and this time we're going to go ahead and put it to the test by roasting a chicken and some vegetables, so... Uh, the temperature outside is about, what, 30? It was 36 when I came in. It's 36 degrees. The winds will be about 20 miles per hour today, so that'll be a good test for wind. And uh, we'll see how well this baby cooks. It's a super sunny day, so that's why we decided to try it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I don't know, it's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. This is the uh, second week of January, so the sun is really low. But uh, we've got an area here that's got sun and it's gonna have, should have full sun all day uh, as soon as we set it up. So we'll go ahead and get this oven set up, get it ready, gotta preheat it. And uh, Robert's inside uh, getting the chicken ready. Okay, so there we go. Uh, just took, you know, 15 seconds to set it up, tilt it. I have it at full tilt because we're at a time of year where the sun is lowest. I mean, we just had the, uh, the winter uh, solstice. So uh, sun is still really low in the sky. Got this thing at maximum tilt for the sun. Line up that. It's gotta be lined up with the hole, okay? And if I, we're able to tilt it more like that, you see, it would be perfect. But unfortunately, this is as much tilt as I can get out of it. Um, that's okay. The reflector's been open and set for just a couple minutes. It's, it's already approaching, uh, what's well, 75 degrees inside. It should heat up pretty quickly. And so what we'll do is we will turn this thing to track the sun during the day. Okay, like I said, uh, outside temperature is 36 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been sitting out here for about five minutes. And we're at 150 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. 150. Nice and warm here. Oh, one thing I forgot to do that I should do is button down the lid on this so it'll hold the heat in. Okay, so here are the pans that are uh, sold with this sun oven set and they're you know they're enameled cookware that's stackable which is kind of cool um, kind of small because it has to fit in the sun oven I thought I'd give you an idea here this is the one the chicken's gonna go in and this thing is it's got an inside diameter of about eight and a half inches and it is uh, about three inches deep if you put that on to make it probably four or five inches deep. So that's the space we've got to put a chicken in with some of its associated goodies. And uh, for my chicken, I've put in here a stick of butter, some fresh thyme and four cloves of garlic, salt and pepper. Just kind of put it in there and I'm going to blend it up. And then I'm going to poke it up under the skin of the chicken. I'm going to save some of it and put on the vegetables. We're going to have potatoes, turnips, and carrots. We're going to roast those in a pan, too. It's gross, and it sounds gross. Mm. So I'm trying to get this butter up in here. Oh, yeah, baby. I could probably use a spatula or something more efficiently. Oh, yeah, baby. No, but your hands work great. But I'm not. You know what? There's something, I don't know. What? Should I say sensual about it? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I read uh, in passing something about a, a chicken ball or a cabbage ball for chickens. It's like a little way to keep them busy when they're bored and stuff like that. We got a pretty, we got a pretty uh, small small run for them, and they're busy just pecking at each other in the ground, but they're not doing much <laughs> else. So we thought this might be fun for them. All it takes is a head of cabbage, a piece of rope, and a drill. <laughs> I gotta wash my hands. Don't drill a hole through your hand. I won't.
There we go. All right. This should keep those chickens busy for a little while. I wonder if they'll even peck it. I'm sure they'll be curious. Let's go find out. Can you hear this thing? Mm -hmm. Is it? Come over here and get close to this chicken. You hear this thing growling or meowing or whatever it's doing. <clears throat> So you can see we have three chickens now. Two are red layers. Um, the other one that went with the white one was a rooster. So we had to uh, unfortunately dispatch him because he started to crow. And <laughs> that's not possible for our urban experience here. So he was dispatched. And then we found uh, a local person who had some layers they're 18 months old they were really three dollars three dollars each they look like they're in pretty good health they've laid like uh eight or nine eggs now um so they're pretty pretty good layers okay so we have three now oh look they're taking to it look at that <laughs> play ball <laughs> Funny. Mm -hmm. Lisa gets them some exercise. Huh? <laughs> Not quite so bored. <clears throat> I tucked the, the wings under and then I cut a hole in one of the little flaps to uh, cross the legs. Okay, so I just melted the butter, garlic, and thyme in this little holder and I'm just going to pour it on the top. What do you got in there? It's a stick of butter four cloves of garlic and a bunch of fresh thyme with some salt and pepper and I ground it, grinded it, ground, ground it. it. I ground it all up in this little processor. I smeared part of the butter into the um, chicken and the rest I melted to go into the vegetable. And what veggies do we have here? Uh, turnips, potatoes, and carrots. So in the sun oven, you're gonna put the uh, Vegetable pan on the bottom, the chicken pan on top. So it's straight. There it is. And it's gonna be covered and we're gonna let it cook all day. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, watch your hands, it's hot in there. Oh. Whoa. Oops. Oh, it's, it's hot. hot. I can't. Here. So, a little balancing act here, huh? Huh. Huh. Well, interesting. It doesn't quite fit does it not quite the room we need for this setup in here huh look at that huh. push it down it tilts it forward so this is interesting this thing's designed for a two pot setup like this yet it appears that the pots don't fit properly inside this thing and I don't know if that's because these two hangers bolts should be further back or what but so there's the issue if you're using this thing in the winter time and you have this thing at full tilt, the pots won't sit in there correctly because there's just simply not enough room after the rack levels it. So that's an issue with the sun oven that needs to be fixed. Not good that those pans are tilted in there like that. We're going to come back here throughout the day and check it anyway. Yeah, we're going to have to turn it for sure. We have to turn it a little bit. But yeah, so far, that's... That's a design flaw because there's no way that those pans should be hitting the glass when that thing is at full tilt. Well, maybe we don't have it set up correctly or something. I don't know how else we could set it up. I mean, it's the way it's made. We already opened this thing and then we forgot we were going to record it. <laughs> but anyway, this was all like steamy. steamy and it basically got up to 300 degrees. It's been in here since like about, I'd say, about four hours. Twelve, maybe? No, eleven something. Well, but by the time it got up to 300 degrees. Oh. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, Ooh, wow. That looks pretty good. Okay. I was supposed to come and baste it, but I didn't. Well, it looks like you didn't really need to. Didn't it? Looks pretty good. Let's eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, chicken is at least 180 degrees inside. In fact, it's going on 220 degrees, so it's really well cooked. And it seems really tender. Here's the 
finished product. It's so tender. Uh -huh. It's just falling apart. <clears throat> well, it's overdone. Woo! I guess. There's no such thing as an overdone chicken. Yes, if it's dried, <clears throat> it's out. It's dry. So, what's your verdict on uh, Sun Oven Roasted Chicken? It was really, really good. and Really tender. It was very tender. And it was moist and tender. Yep, moist, tender, and fall apart. And it fell apart, yes. Yep. Very good stuff. Yep, I'd do it again. Uh, we discovered there's an issue with the design of the Sun Oven. Mm -hmm. And I have sent an email to the Sun Oven people <clears throat> asking them if they have any plans to fix this design well, flaw yeah and you saw how that you know it has to be you know the sun's so low in the sky during the winter time you can't tilt it up enough to get the sun directly into the uh into the oven oven but it's still cooked but mm -hmm. the uh, thing was crooked but right. it's still cooked okay it's still cooked and I think we got up to about 300 degrees, I think. Yeah, mostly it was at 300 all the time. Yeah. That's good. Okay.